My name is Greg Randall. I'm from Mount Vernon, Iowa. And I was the fifth person to win four state championships in a row. I started wrestling probably when I was able to walk. So I had an older brother that was 13 months older than I, um, Steve. And we were, we've had, I remember we had pictures, old pictures, black and white, of him on top of me or I'm on top of him. And I don't even remember those pictures being taken. So I was wrestling probably at a very, very young age. Um, just maybe like young uh, puppies do. You know how they wrestle around? It's just a, a natural instinct for them to wrestle. So what I believe, and I don't remember, that is how uh, early I started and that's kind of developed uh, in, into a wrestling situation where I didn't know I was being developed. My first championship, I really didn't know what to expect. I knew I would win. I just didn't know how how I would win. Uh, and you, when you're going through it, you don't really realize what you're doing. And then all of a sudden it happens, you win that first one, and it's like, oh my God, I did it and, as a freshman. And now your dreams start coming true. Once you win that first one, there's, there's no turning back. I think it was Kerber, he was a senior when I was a freshman. The only thing I could, I could say that I wanted a standing ovation. And I, you know, I, I don't go around telling everybody that, but that's what I wanted. I wanted one of those. And I think Kerber was just a huge influence because you just hear about him all the time. I mean, I was a little freshman and here he was a senior, undefeated, and going for his fourth title, and that's Kerber, every Emmitsburg, Kerber. Um, and then, of course, uh, uh, Morningstar, you know, was right down the road from me. And I knew he was going for his fourth. Then I, I had Joe Gibbons, who was a year older than me, and I was to follow. So we had like a little, little run there. And, it, you know, we had Kerber, Morningstar, Gibbons, Randall, and it was a good run for for a, you know for a while you know for four times because we haven't had one since Bob Steenlidge until he won one and it was I don't know how many years that was but you know it, it was a good run for for Iowa or Iowa high school wrestling and those names were huge you know I'm not saying my name was huge but to me. Kerber, Morningstar, and Gibbons is like, man, I gotta follow him. I don't wanna screw this up. My Saturday night final was, I knew it was gonna be a good night. Um, it's been working for years and years to get to this point. And plus I had my brother in the finals too, so I, uh, usually got more nervous for him than myself and I wanted him to win probably just as bad or worse than than myself because so I know I could take care of myself and and I just wanted my brother to win that night also to complete the Randall Randall back-to-back -back state championships because we finally end up being like 132 and 138 so that was I knew it was going to be a good night and I remember shaking hands and, and I just went at it. I knew I wanted to pin him. I knew I wanted to get some back points and, and build the lead quickly. And, and uh, I remember looking up at the clock and there was like three seconds left. And I go, wow, it's finally over. And it's, it's just like, I was relieved that it was over. Like I said earlier, you don't really think how much pressure there is until it's over and it's just like a gorilla off my back and to me it's like that was very satisfying 
And then, obviously, you know, that standing ovation was awesome. My name is Greg Randall. I was the fifth four-time state champion.